garden's looking a lot better since you retired, love. Yes, I suppose it is. Don't forget you've got the sausage sizzle today. Yeah, everything's ready. I packed the meat earlier. I'll be heading off in a minute. Don't you get up to any mischief, love. Yeah, I'll have a little bit of onion too, thanks. Would you like it raw? No. You want a raw sausage? I'd For like sure. it well done. No, I want a raw sausage. No, <laughs> it is. No, I thought you might have liked it. Raw sausage. The lady wants a sausage. Okay. See you later. See you later, thanks. Have a good day. Oh, we'll have uh, three singers, thanks, eh, Trev? Yes, uh, Chris Allison or Sausage, boys? Oh, snag, mate. Come on, Pops. I didn't want that. Give us three rissoles with onions. You said you wanted sausages. That's my name, Grandad. Snag. Got it? S N A G. Snag. Ha. Oh. You broke the bread, mate. Oh. Steady on. Sauce if you want it there. Here. Thanks. Who's got the cash? Fess up. $7.50. There you are, no tip. Stupid old bastard. <laughs> I know who he is. That's Bruno Worst Boy. Who's he? Oh, he's a real bad bastard. Life beater, thief, drunkard, you name it. He done it. But he wouldn't work though. Caught him one day down in my back paddock trying to steal a couple of cows. Bold as brass, broad daylight, bastard. <laughs> he wasn't so cocky when I put the rifle on him, eh? Steven bastard. Would have disappeared about the time you and Brenda got here. This might be just before. Mm -hmm. I hope his son doesn't turn out like him. Oh, he was just a kid then. He was always a bit of a brat. <laughs> Till he missed that one, Jim. Brat worst, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Well, another good day. We'll finish up only in the hospital at this rate. Yeah, mate, you'll be coming off your lay by. You'd have it paid off by now. Yeah. Your heart valve, mate. Have they told you when you're going in yet? See you next week, mate. Okay, mate. Take it easy.
Did you see that old bastard jump? Must have shit himself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Listen here, you bastards. Might have to go away and do some business, if you know what I mean. Self, I do. I don't want anyone sniffing around here, alright? Make sure Chopper gets fed. Plenty of meat. Care of fridges, chockers. Yeah, no worries, Snag. Does he like sausages, Stag? <laughs> <laughs> keep it up. I'll fucking deck you. You want to keep driving the car? They're the ones I told you about, love. Oh, don't worry about it, love. You go and check the cows and I'll clean it up. Bev Patterson told me they were nice young boys before they started hanging around with that blow-in with the ute. Snag, he calls himself. Drinking, even though they're underage. I don't know where he gets the money. Doesn't seem to work. This was such a quiet place when we moved in here. We never even had to lock the doors. It's getting as bad as the cities. Crimes up and strange people moving in. Good mate. <laughs> hey, hello, mate. What's this shit? Among the bastard done this? Well, just some of the local kids having a bit of fun. They'll grow up someday. Not bloody likely.
so is that the fuckers? Shush, everything's fine. It's okay. And look, hey, watch your language in front of your mother. Hey, is this you know what she's like. Hey, has this happened before? Well, if I'd known you were coming, I'd have put a few on the ice. Ah, oh, it's all right, Dad. I didn't know I was coming through till the last minute anyway. have to go see a couple of my mates. Hey, is uh, my old room still there? Mm. Yeah, you haven't lent it out to any backpackers, have you? Hey, a couple of sweeties. <laughs> hey, yeah, <Go> okay. <laughs> Tristan, why didn't you tell us? Gee, Mum, the cat dog slob is less than you. <laughs> you staying for dinner, love? Oh, I'm not sure, eh? I've got some things to do, so don't go into any trouble, just in case I get caught up, okay? But how's Dad? Is he alright? Oh, still getting used to retirement. This one's a real bitch. I only bought him to keep the grass down, but she is a pain in the ass. It's the freezer for her. I'll take her up to Jim's. He likes to keep his hand in. I call her Rosemary. Jeez, Dad, when did you start naming the cows then butchering them? You remember that aunt of yours, uh, your mother's eldest sister? <laughs> I'm the bitch cow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rosemary sausages, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I could probably dig up a couple of home brews, uh, if you game. Ah, not this time, Dad. Got to go see a bloke. I won't want to give that pig Thorpe another chance. That bastard watches me like a hawk when I'm in town. Always trying to nail me is, especially after that acquittal, and the paper gave him a roasting. Well, he's gone now. You don't have to worry about him anymore. Hey Dad, I don't know how long I'm going to be, so don't change your plans, alright? The catch is after. I hope he comes back tonight. Made his favourite curry. Fancy him being a vegetarian, with you being a butcher all your life. Yeah, well he seems happy, and healthy enough. And his farts don't smell as bad. Oh, they used to make my eyes water. Oh Trevor, for goodness sake. Big enough and ugly enough to look after himself. G'day. Gee, you started without me. Oh, you're just in time. I was about to give this to the chooks. Ah, looks way too good for the chooks, Mum. Mm -hmm. Geez, Mum, this is great. Nothing like this around my place. At least it's not like those curries back in the city. I'll be shitting through an eye of a needle. Oh, Tristan, for goodness sake. <laughs> you have to go out for a bit again. Do you still have breakfast at Sparrow's Park? You know, your father always likes his routine, even though he's retired now and he can do as he pleases. That's cool. Just give me a yell in the morning. I need an early start, so don't wake up. We stopped doing that when you were 15. But I'd still like to know what you got up to. Dad, sometimes it's better not to know. <laughs> Ugh, morning, Ma. Where's Dad? Oh, we had to get up early to go and get more meat for next week's stall. Likes to hang it in the cool room before he butchers it. Jeez, jeez, all this before breakfast? Well, 
It hasn't got the insulated truck anymore, so it's got to get up early to beat the heat of the day. Stops the flies getting in. So where's he getting the meat these days when, since he sold the shop? Mm. Jim runs a couple of killers out there for the freezer on his place. You can take the man out of the butcher shop. More sausages. So what's the latest flavour? You must have run out of what ideas by now, eh? Oh, I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. No too few as yet though. You might have to wait a while for that one. <laughs> look out mum, you better lock up Basil. Dad's getting creative again, eh? <laughs> hey, how's that little mate of yours getting on? Uh, what's his name? Harvey. Yeah, he's all right, Dad. He's doing good. Hey, if, uh, if you have any troubles with those people, give us a call, right? You know, those mongrels? No, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We've oh, always been able to look after I know us. that. I know that, Dad. Hey, we'll be back through in the, by the end of the week if you need a hand uh, with those sausages. Uh, we'll be right. Sure? Yeah. All right. All right. See you later, then. with that? Um, no. Okay. The sauce, eh? Yeah. Three of your best, no, thanks, boys. Like yeah. Three. Three, uh, sausages. Sausages. three sausages. Yeah. Bit of barbecue on that one. Mm, nice. Three sausages. Bit of sauce? Yes, please. Mm, these 
different. Yeah, different, but they're good. Delicious. Thank you. Yeah, Trev always likes to try something new. Yeah. Uh, a couple of sayings, thanks, Mr. Baxter. Where's your smart ass mate? Dunno. I haven't seen him for a couple of weeks. Can't say I'm missing him. Would you like a risotto? Or a snack? Would your dog like a snack? Thank you.